Welcome to the ALSP board member training series. This series includes leadership tips for board members and, as well as other development resources. This segment focuses on practical tips for approaching major donors. Your attitude toward the work of your program is the single most important factor in asking for a contribution. A strong, passionate, and genuine belief in your work will go a long way toward convincing someone else that the work of legal aid is something that he or she will want to support. The following tips will help you as you approach major donors to ask for their support. Major donors want to support good work, so there is no need to be apologetic. Project an attitude that you are inviting them to participate in important and exciting work. Always keep in mind that you are not asking for money for yourself. You are an advocate on behalf of the poor of your community. You are meeting with the donor to make a case on behalf of them and the work your program does. You should use this meeting as an opportunity to educate the donor about the issues and problems facing low-income people in your community and the ways in which your program effectively addresses them. Try to understand the priorities and beliefs of the individual you are approaching. A common mistake is to spend too much time trying to persuade someone to give and too little time finding out what a potential donor may really be interested in. Establishing a healthy long-term relationship is the real goal of any meeting to solicit a major gift. Accordingly, it's always important to be honest. Before the meeting, think about what questions might be asked or what criticisms might be leveled. Be prepared to answer them. To do this, you need to have a thorough knowledge of the organization. Remember that personal acquaintance and credibility count for a great deal. Like everyone else, donors prefer dealing with someone they know and trust. If you have a strong relationship with a potential donor, you are likely to be successful. It is the effective work of the organization that will have the second greatest impact on a potential donor. Be prepared with client stories of how lives have been positively changed. Use testimonials from other community organizations and groups with whom the program has collaborated. Just as important, having other donors who will talk about what a good investment the program is will have a definite impact. Never criticize other organizations that are providing legal services. Always mention who other donors and supporters are. Use testimonials from donors who are excited about your program and its effectiveness. This can have quite a strong impact. Always follow through on any commitment you make during a meeting. If you promise to send additional materials, do so as quickly as possible. Keep in mind that it is often better to have more than one person involved in a meeting with a potential donor. Don't be afraid of rejection, it's not personal. Major donors are asked to contribute to lots of good causes and may just not be in a position to support legal aid this year. However, don't give up. Fundraising is based on long-term relationships and persistence will usually pay off. Finally, don't forget to ask for the money. The main reason people do not give to an organization is because no one they know took the time to meet with them and ask for their support. Thank you for joining us for this segment of the ALSP Board Member Training Series. For more information or to find additional resources, log on to the ALSP website and click on Board Resources at www.arlegalservices.org. Mm -hmm.